let's say you take a video with your iPhone and you have a Mac running Mac OS Catalina. How do you get the video you've just taken from your iPhone onto your MacBook using the cable? The cable. Not this cable because it's USB-C actually. No, yes, using this cable because it's lightning to USB-C, which this MacBook has. Okay. Like all good demos, a complete screw up. So let's um, get everything ready. Get logged into see what's going on as well and then let's plug uh, the iPhone that we want to get the video off via USB-C into the Mac mm -hmm. I think we have to go through some sort of trust thing where are we So unlock iPhone to use accessories. Just put in my code there. Okay, so now in theory, the iPhone shows up in the finder. You see that there? Yes, my name is Mike. And um, actually, we, we can click through there. So we click on the phone, iPhone. Oh, here we go. So here's the trust issue. And I've got to remember it's home because this is an old iPhone. It's all different. That's how hell the new ones are. So let's trust. Yes, let's trust. Ugh. Let's trust each other, shall we? Okay. Okay, and then you can see you get uh, all this information up uh, with a bit about the iPhone you've just plugged in. And uh, if you're if you're like me, you know that you know you've got this uh, you've got this video on your iPhone. Look, there it is. But how do we get it off the iPhone? through the cable, you know, and into the Mac, so you can edit it. Now you could use AirDrop, but that's really slow um, compared to if you are able to use a cable. Um, anyway, so basically if you look through here, what you won't find is your video file. Look in files and you can look in info but you won't find the video file I've just taken. And now normally you know, if it was like a normal camera it would show up in the DCIM folder which the, the iPhone does have a DCIM folder. So the solution to this problem um, on Mac OS Catalina at least is to obviously plug in the iPhone with the cable, wait for this, um, wait for it to appear in Finder so you know it's connected. And then uh, rather than run uh, or rather than get the files off through to Finder because obviously Finder being a file manager can't actually find the files on the iPhone. That's a good bit of design by Apple. Um, but fortunately Apple uh, do include a utility on macOS Catalina called Image Capture which 
despite its name, will pull videos off as well. And there we can see the video. If I just uh, zoom in again on that and pull that down, you can see that there. So that's the that's the video I just took. Well, on this phone, and then we should be able to just drag and drop. So drag, drop. It kind of looks like it doesn't do anything, um, especially if we're pulling off a lot of things. But you'll see it has actually pulled the file off up there. So now that's all done. Quit that. We can disconnect this phone. Delete that video. In fact, throw this phone in the bin because it's so old. Maybe I'll uh, give it to my sister channel to repair. And uh, this is the file recorded in portrait mode. I think, can we? Well, I'm pretty sure Mac OS can rotate videos nowadays, but I guess that's for another video because I really can't be bothered to find it at the moment.